Outdoors Day, everybody. Uh, it is Thursday, March 10th. Just had crazy shit drop, new Captain America trailers. So I figured why not drop Thor's Thoughts number five. So, I mean, let's go right at it. It was nuts. That trailer was amazing. It was, it's not the best trailer I've seen all year, not even this year of 2016, but what that trailer did have was Spider-Man. <laughs> which is the biggest news. Obviously, I'm rocking the Spidey shirt. Um, it has some great uh, one-liners in there from Tony. We got a little bit more in the story. I mean, we already knew that it had to do with, like, New York, Sokovia, Washington, D.C. They paint that picture beautifully in the beginning of the trailer. We got some great shots from uh, Black Panther. There was a shot of him getting shot by, from a helicopter or getting shot by a helicopter gun. Pretty much just standing there taking it. So that armor has got to be pretty strong. Got, I mean, it has to be bulletproof. So, but let's, I mean, it starts off with them talking about, you know, needing to be put in check. And that's why Tony's there is like, he's with the government. Cap's like, no, we can do it on our own. We, all we need is our own two hands. So that's kind of the division right there. And then it goes into some great action sequences. Um, there was that giant thing in the ocean that Tony's in that looks like a prison at one point. That was amazing. Um, we got to see some, a little bit of the Crossbones Captain America fight. We haven't really seen any of yet. Um, but some of the craziest stuff of the trailer, some of the stuff that got me super excited was seeing Ant-Man riding Hawkeye's arrows, jumping and look like attacking Tony at that point. Um, we got, uh, Scarlet Witch's powers being explored more, which we already knew was going to happen, but her having Vision on his knees using her powers, that was, that was crazy because Vision's... Vision's kind of like next level, like power set, almost equal like Thor. Whereas Scarlet Witch, they really hadn't established her as that level yet, but I think they're going to about to. And that's that's pretty exciting because she can be a really good character. And then you got what I think is the ultimate red herring that they've been showing through all these trailers is Rhodey on the ground and Cap taking his thing off. Rhodey's not dying. Someone's dying, but it's not Rhodey. That's the red herring. They, they want you to think it's going to be Rhodey, so then when they really drop on who dies, it's more impactful, I think, but it's not going to be Rhodey. Because if you even look in the, in the final shot, when the teams are going at each other, Rhodey's back. So he might get injured severely in that fall and be out for a good portion of the movie, but he will, I'm sure, be back towards the final fight scene. Because I have a feeling that that team fight scene is in the second act, maybe beginning of the third act of the movie. So if he's in that, and I have a feeling the falling part is maybe first act, early second act. So there there you go. I mean, it's not Rhodey dying, so I don't worry too much about that. I already talked about um, Ant-Man riding the arrows, just like the comic book. I mean, that's that for me was almost one of the best parts of the trailer. Besides the Spider-Man stuff, um, <clears throat> getting to see the shot of uh, Winter Soldier firing the gun at Tony when he's just got the hand over it. And then the look on his face, like he's really trying to kill him at that point. And then Black Panther, what we thought was chasing Captain America, turns out Black Panther's chasing uh, Winter Soldier, who's Captain America's chasing both of them, it looks like, in that one scene that they showed in the trailer. Um, and then we got some of the lines at the end were, were ominous. You know, like Captain America's like, we don't need to turn this into a fight. And Tony's like, you started a war. Like, done. So it's going to be curious. I don't think this... How Batman vs Superman, I think, is going to end with them teaming up against somebody. I don't feel Captain America Civil War is going to end that same way. I have a feeling Captain America Civil War is going to end with a, a big division between the teams. And then through the next set of movies coming into Infinity War, I think that's when they're going to really start coming back together as a team. And especially once Infinity War Part 2 happens, that's when we'll get the full team back. But I think this is going to be the division that's going to kind of split it. So then you don't have to explain where characters are because there will be that division. So like certain movies, you'll see certain characters, certain movies you won't because, you know, they're dividing into teams at this point. Um, well, and then we got the final end scene <clears throat> with the battle. This is the big part. This is the big one everyone's been waiting for. They've, hit, they've done a really good job hiding it up till this point, and then they dropped it. It was really speculated that they were going to drop it today, and I'm, I'm pretty happy they did, actually. They didn't need to save it. Like, Doomsday could have been saved for the movie, uh, but Spider-Man eventually was going to come out, and I think they have a screening sometime in April, so you know someone was going to snap a picture of what he looked like. And I got to say, when Tony's like, all right, enough is enough, and then he says that, like, 
it almost sounds like he says something in Russian or some other language, and then all of a sudden you see the web come down, take Captain America's shield, and then <clears throat> you see Captain America's hot hands tie with the web. Spider-Man does some flips in the air, lands on, I think, a truck or something. <laughs> he's got Captain America's shield, and he's like, hey, like, what up? It's it was it was pretty good. Like I watched that trailer I think five times over now. And there's a lot of takeaways you can take from that trailer. It's gonna be a darker movie than a Marvel movie's been, I think. Uh you're gonna have the levity, you're gonna have the jokes, but I don't think it's gonna be quite to the extent that we're used to. I think this is gonna be a much more somber film. And it's gonna be the battles are gonna have a one of the things we've worried about and speculated on the show is what's the stakes? And I think the stakes are as high as they can be in this in this war. I mean, Tony called it, it's a war. So I'm ready. I'm ready for Civil War. Now what superhero battle movie is going to be better? B Batman vs. Superman, Captain America Civil War. That's yet to be seen. I'm kind of leading towards Civil War at this point. I mean, I'm super excited for Batman vs. Superman. And I think that's going to be a good movie too. But I have some, you know, a little bit of hesitation. Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. We all know how I feel about that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below too. What do you think is going to be a better movie? Civil War, Batman vs. Superman. Are you excited for both? Are you seeing both? Like, let me know what you guys think. But, yeah, that trailer, watch it if you haven't seen it. Spider-Man's in the MCU officially. I mean, we've known it, but now the, the costume looked great, too. It was classic red and blue. I didn't even mention that. The costume probably was my favorite part. It looked like a, a great Spider-Man costume. It wasn't the hood. It wasn't teenage-ish that we thought. The voice sounded good. It fit. It sounded like Spider-Man. It looked like Spider-Man. I'm ready. Civil War. Let's get here what, May something, uh, Daredevil next week, Batman vs. Superman the week after, shit, it's a good time to be a nerd, but go watch that trailer, check out our videos, um, subscribe to our channel, do all that good shit, find us on Instagram, all social media, we're everywhere, so with Thor's thoughts, this is Thor, deuces.